What's up all my 1-6 scale collectors out there? It's CB Collects once again. And those of you with the display case, looking at this mess, you know what this is. My third and final detail. So yeah, with this video I'm going to show you how to put the mirror film on the back of this really quick, the way I do it. So yeah. While I do that, I'm going to be chilling here watching Star Wars. My Blu-ray set finally came in. Got displayed with my Luke. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this, because this is a pain to do. Okay, so those who have done making a deep tough before know that like this is the back piece. This is where we're gonna put it. It's identified with the sticker. So I already went ahead and snipped the window film in half so it can fit the length of it. Unfortunately for me, um, one of these isn't long enough to cover the whole thing so I have to double up on it. It's not that hard. There's a better tutorial online, like I'll post it in the description below, but you guys get to watch me struggle making this one. So yeah. Okay, so the things you guys are going to need, the things I use, paper towel, soapy water, instead of the, what's it called, the liquid they use to spray it on. They said you can use equals amount of like water to baby shampoo but just use soapy water still works i did it for both of these and they turned out okay unfortunately for me i don't have a spray bottle if you guys have that it's so much easier because you spray down the glass while you apply the film onto it so for me i just basically wet the glass it's more messy the way i do it so if you have a spray bottle it makes it that much easier you need like at least a card, credit card or something, or one of those cheap cards from like, the, um, what's it called? Sorry, I can't think right now. Um, from like the drugstore, like for points and stuff. Because when you have the water liquid under here, you're gonna be scraping out the water to make it a more even surface. And you're gonna need scotch tape. The scotch tape is only to separate the film from the plastic liner behind it while you apply it to the glass. So yeah. Here we go. So right now I have the glass all sprayed with water, watered down and everything. And with the tape, we're gonna put two pieces of tape, one on each side of this, because you're gonna be separating the film from the plastic that's on it and next step I'll show you it on the glass since I can't do this one-handed so yep all right I got the first half on the window and as you can see it's all wrinkled up and everything then you just spray some water over it and that's where your flat edge comes into play because you're just gonna wrap some of wrap some of it up in the tissue paper I mean uh, yeah some tissue or whatever, and you just start scraping out all the excess air and liquid that's inside there. And eventually, it should become all straight. This part's really time consuming, so hope you guys have the patience to do this. Alright, I'll be back when I get the other side on. Alright, I got the first half of this thing on. Um, with the detolf, the plastic strips that it comes with to hold the edges, I usually put them on while I'm putting on the film, and I use it as a, to cut the edge. As you can see, there's a gap between the film and the, what's it called, and the plastic. So when you put it on, it's much easier, because if you put the film all the way to the edge, and you put on the plastic part, it's going to be lifting up the plastic, and it's going to mess everything up. So it's easier if you 
cut ahead just so the plastic just goes straight on it right away all right time to do the second half all right you guys as you can see I already have the detail put together and the mirror film is at the back but you might notice there's still like some blemishes of like air spaces and stuff you can see it's still kind of bumpy so that's where a credit card or a flat edge comes into play all you gotta do is just scrape out all the air from edge to edge it's gonna go give it a nice smooth finish then once you're done all that wipe it down put your shelves back up put your figures on display and there you go you got a mirrored finish on your detail hope that helps you guys this was a real bitch to put together. As you can see, I started Star Wars at the beginning when I started this. They were already trying to destroy the Death Star, so that's how long it took me to put this thing together. <laughs> so, good luck trying to put this together. If you guys can get help putting it together with someone, it's so much easier. I did this on my own, and it took me that long. That's why it took forever to do. So, I really encourage, get someone else to help you out putting this together. Cause it's a bitch. All right, CB collects with another tip. Peace, you guys. All right, there you go, you guys. Three details. Oh, I just want to give you one more extra tip. As you can see with my new one, you can kind of see through it. If you don't want that to happen with this film, I really recommend putting the film on both sides, and you'll get a clear mirror finish like that and you're not going to see anything whatsoever behind there. It's just because the lights on my ceiling will reflect off the wall and that's why you can see through it a bit. But if you have the window film at the back, it's going to reflect that light and it's not going to show anything behind it. Unfortunately for me, I ran out of film. So yeah, I gotta go pick up more. But yeah, one more quick look. And that's going to be filled up soon, hopefully. Alright, you guys. Peace.